I recently hit an arbitrary YouTube subscriber goal that only has value because other YouTubers over the course of the website's history have assigned it with said worth. But really though, I really do appreciate it. Or whatever. Okay, so what's expected at a usual subscriber milestone special? Let's have a look at the list. Say thanks. Thanks! Put some of that emotional slash manipulative happy music in the background. Cue the music, Johnny! Yeah, there it is. That, that's perfect. That's just what I need to manipulate all of you. Say that I never thought that I'd get here. When I started this channel, I never thought I'd be here. As in, help me. I'm on top of a mountain. Get me the hell down from here! Be funny and random. Um, watermelon. David Jaffe Gorilla. That funny enough for you? Be funny and random while answering questions in a Q&A format. Okay, fine, I'll answer some questions. God! How long does it usually take you to make an IHE? Usually like three days. I have to write it, do the voice, and then edit it, and then do all the upload shit. Takes longer than you think. If you had to take a bath in anything that wasn't water, what would you bathe in? You know that stuff that paper's made out of? Pulp? Just take a bath on that. I hear it's good for the skin. What was your style of video making influenced by? I'm definitely inspired and influenced by Red Letter Media because I think they're funny. John Tron because I like his editing a lot. And PewDiePie because he taught me how to make clickbait thumbnails. Did you ever see yourself being anything other than a YouTuber? No. I feel like in a weird way it was my calling. Once I figured out that people were like becoming YouTubers, then I thought I need to get on this. So I just, I didn't even really think about it. I just self taught myself how to do everything and just did it. It's always been what I wanted to do. Do you plan on changing your in-video avatar again? Yes, I do. It just takes me a while because I've got to actually draw it myself and I'm shit. And that'll take up time where I could be making working on a video, so that's, that's why it takes so long. So yeah, it is going to change again at some point, so get ready to get mad about that. What inspired you to rant about things on the internet? Well, you know, I thought there was this, like, sincere lack of angry vitriol on the internet or people that brand themselves as being angry slash mad at things, so I thought I'd jump on that. What thing in the world do you hate the most? This fucking question. Auntie Zula. Auntie Zula. Auntie Zula. Deep cut jar media reference right there. What video do you get the most hate at and what's your favorite I hate video? It's either the 4chan one or the Sonic one, I believe. Maybe the furries one as well. But the Sonic one is one of my favorites because I just... It's probably the most, like, asshole video I've ever made. It's like, has, like, no backup in it. It's just me being a dick, pretty much, because I just wanted to rile up a certain amount of people because I fucking hate Sonic the Hedgehog so much. So in a way, it's one of the most sincere ones I've made at the same time. Look, okay, that's all I'm going to answer. I could just go on indefinitely with these bloody things. Remember, I do AMAs at the end of each month on my Reddit page. So just go there if you want to ask me what I hate the most. Look in the description. Okay, what's next? Reveal some kind of interesting secret that you've been formulaically hiding from your audience despite being asked the question by them every single day of your life. Yeah. I'm just gonna skip this one. Drink bottle of bleach. Huh. Right, okay, then let's do that. Hey, w wait a second. I didn't write that one. Nah, oh, shit. Do you have any idea how bizarre this is? No, not this horrifically terrible deviant art picture. Huh. <laughs> This is really fucking terrible, though. I mean, the situation for me. I've never had 100,000 of anything before. Well, maybe apart from the times in my life that I've been disappointed or confused. But really, when you think about it, I don't really have 100k of anything. It's all such a nebulous, confusing concept that ultimately isn't much more than a number that honestly doesn't feel that much different to the last time I acknowledged my subscriber count with a video, despite this time it being a whole 10 times bigger. That's not to say that it's not important, but the fact of the matter is, while in some ways it does help legitimize the existence of my content for my own self, don't expect me to significantly change in a bad way, as a lot of people seem to think happens when you get to a certain number of subscribers. I've seen comments saying things like, oh, I preferred it when Aichi had 4,000 subscribers because he was more real and raw back then. You know, shit like that. When really, what has changed? Well, for some reason I talk and sound a bit different now compared to my older videos, and my editing has improved, but apart from that, I'm the same person with the same dumb ideas. And unless I sell the channel like a money-grubbing asshole, or get infested by some mind-controlling worm that forces me to become a prank channel or something, then the only thing that should change is my content. There's a fun little exercise I like to do on other people's YouTube channels to see how they've grown. So 
seriously, you should try this, it's interesting. Go to their videos and set the filter to date added, oldest to newest, and look at a couple of their very oldest videos. What you'd hope to see is some kind of discernible change. Maybe not of anything major, but if you've been running a channel for a long time and your first video feels exactly the same as your most current, unless it's your intention, for some reason, to stay being exactly the same, then what is the point in the first place? Who are you fucking serving? I used to wrestle with the idea that I didn't deserve anything that was coming my way in terms of this channel. It was very humbling, but it always felt kind of weird to me. But then I found a plethora of terrible shit that was way more popular than me, and it put my mind at ease. Seriously, there's a lot of shit out there, so it makes me feel a bit better knowing that my shit can join the pile. Is it bad that I kind of forgot that I was supposed to make this video? I was gonna make it on the week that I put the I Hate Minions Part 2 video out on, but my hand was forced on that one, and I forgot. But there we are, it's it's out there now. So what do you think? And tell me, how long have you been watching this channel? I, I often see comments from people who I remember from the very old days. It's crazy. So as always, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated, as is your continued viewership. Oh, and this fucking crazy video that's actually pretty embarrassing is going up tomorrow on my other channel, Jar Media. So make sure you check that out if you want to hate me. I'll see you next time. Bye!